My gosh, should put MVP before his name now because he's a tough guy apparently <laughs> when it comes to basketball. I've got DJ Tunes in the house, ladies and gentlemen, 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 gentlemen. Hi. What's up, Kimmy? Thank you for having me. You're welcome. Thank you for being here in time. Yes, I had to. I had to hold it down this As week. Well, how you mm. feeling? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. Um, How's your weekend? It's been it's been powerful so far. Very progressive and very um enlightening with the whole basketball tournament that happened you know what i mean so I had tell a lot me of fun. about that how are you like mvp like do you have a <laughs> career in basketball where did that come from i mean i always told people if i was a dj and i'll definitely be in the nba you know i, I got some skills mm -hmm. you know what i mean first name mike you know so it means something <laughs> to know is that you have been the mastermind behind a lot of hits all right you've walked through one day call on his cover burn a boy you have found me with a dick click gold on my lay you know what i'm saying whiskey was on that record you've now you've worked with ashanti as well i want to know what your process is like when you when you want to make a record right do you sit and say you know who i'd like to have on the song on my lay and then reach out and then you create the music together do you have to be like how do you tend to get all of these beautiful and talented artists um, on a record. It's definitely like a spiritual vibe for me. Let's say I'm working on a beat. Um, most beats that I hear, I can um, feel which artists I want to put on it or which artists I feel fits best for the beat okay. or the music I'm trying to create. So um, at the time with the Shanti, um, she had reached out to me and told me like, you know, she was trying to get into the to the Afro beat lane, let's make some vibes. And um, I was able to build some music and that's so I had a dick let go to the vibe. So I just felt like AG was the best fit in terms of like the flows he brings nowadays. He's definitely like, you know, entered like another another scale of like the music um, realm. So um, I just felt like they, they both match each other well. Um, also with other people as well, once I feel it, I feel like this is the right song for them. My, my, mo my most important thing is just bringing out the best out the artist. You know what I mean? So as long as I get that accomplished, I feel good. With Weez, and I wouldn't say for um, since what 2015? Yeah. Ish, yeah. 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 Um, and um, I feel like DJs and the artists that they DJ with always have like a special connection, yeah. you know, there's something <laughs> there. So, how would you describe your connection with Weez when you're playing? Oh man, the connection is strong. It's definitely, um, it's amazing, it's unbreakable, it's unstoppable. We just did O2 three nights in a row, and mm -hmm. it was it was it was a shutdown. Like London was 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 closed for the weekend just for Wiz, and just to be a part of that and share that stage with him is an honor. It's a blessing, and it's from here we're still going to the top, you know, still going to the top. So our chemistry is really really it's really really dope. Um, you know, he allows me to um, um, choose the sets. We go over the sets together. Um, sometimes when we on stage, I can do my thing and he does his thing and it really, really matches um, each other's energy. So once we bring the energy up, you know, that's what I'm there for. 99% um, of the time it's lit. Speaking of the O2, um, I'm, I mean, that was crazy, first of all. Yeah. I mean, it was a moment in time, mm -hmm. I feel like. And it's just amazing to be able to experience that in our lifetime. Yeah. But you were there, you were on stage, you, <laughs> you saw it firsthand. Um, yeah. You were part of it firsthand. And what I would like to know is, when you think back to that moment, being able to experience that and be a part of that, what are some of the events of that moment that stick with you? That when you close your eyes and you think back, you're like, man, this particular thing that happened was insane. Man, um, I would say it happened on night one, the first night. Mm -hmm. um, we had brought out Ella May. We brought out so many artists. We brought out Chris Brown. And... Um, it seemed like after the show, everybody's highlight was me hyping up 
the old school set. Like most of the videos I saw online on Twitter or Instagram was just um, me hyping up the old school, the um, WizKids old school music. And um, just to be a part of that moment, it just keeps running over my head. Just um, shouting out people that, you know, really um, support Wiz from day one. Okay. You know what I mean? So knowing that I brought out the, the energy out of the day one fans like that and it really, really like cross court, like around the world, it's just it's very, very like, I'm honored, it's overwhelming. Mm -hmm. I don't even know, man. I'm still like, you know, getting goosebumps from them, them mm -hmm. nights. So night two was amazing, night three was amazing. Just bringing out Wiz on stage. It's an honor, you know what I'm saying? I also get to play before him and I get to do my thing. So it's it's 20,000 people right in front of you just giving you energy, ready to, 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 to take it all in. And you know, we're showcasing Africa and we want to do it to, to, the, to, the, to the best that we can, you know? So I'm happy that I'm, I'm, a, I'm a part of that. All right, 